Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope you're having a wonderful day. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a beautiful tea towel for Christmas that's gonna have a wreath around it with uh, red berries and green leaves, and it's so pretty. Okay, so as you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to ask questions. Feel free to sprinkle if you would like. All that good stuff. And when I'm all finished, I'll get you the links if you want to look at any of this stuff. Okay, so we're using these tea towels right here today. They're Craft Basics. It's a two-pack of tea towels. The measurements are 18 by 28, and I really like this size. These have come from Walmart. Okay, the reason why I like this size is because it's not square, it's a rectangle. And also, they have a loop in one corner. They're pretty, you know, pretty straight. They're not like wonky like some of the other tea towels. They have this nice hem on them. And they're just, they're woven tightly. They're great to work with. So, this is the brand I, right now, am liking the best. Craft Basics from Walmart. It's in the craft department. It's usually near the embroidery kind of stuff. Embroidery hoops, embroidery floss, that kind of thing. So I'll get a picture of this label. All right, and um, we're going to also be using this stencil right here, which is from magnoliadiy.com, but I'll get you a specific link and I know it's hard to see because of the glare. It says Merry Christmas, and then it has this beautiful wreath around it. And I tell you what, when I first got this stencil, it has these two little pieces right here. I'll show you in just a minute. They look like this. So I was just like, what in the world is this part for? I just did not understand. But now that I know, oh my gosh, I absolutely love, love, love this stencil. Do I have any paper towels? No, I do not. Oh, well. Okay. So I'm working right here on this blue silicone uh, mat that my friend Deb sent me. And um, I would normally be putting paper towels underneath, but I don't have any. So we're just going to go directly on it, which is fine. Okay. And I'm going to, I always label my stencils what it is so you know which side to put it back on. I have one that's partially finished over here, so I'm gonna show you the first step and then I'm gonna show you the next steps after that too. And I am just eyeballing this to see where to put it. And then I'm pressing it down really well. Okay, these stencils from Magnolia are washable they're reusable they have a little stretch they're adhesive they are like a really nice fine mesh they're great they aren't going to scooch all over the place i just really like them okay so we're going to do this wreath which you'll be able to see better once i do it in black and then we're going to do the merry christmas in the center in red and we're using magnolia ink because this is fabric and we want to be able to wash it. You can't make tea towels that you can't wash. Um, they just, that just does not work, okay? So um, once this ink is all dry, I will heat set it with a hot iron, and then it'll be washable, dryable, completely usable. Um, it's not gonna be crunchy, it's just awesome. All right, and this red ink that we're using is called Ruby Red think yes and so I'm just stirring it up a little bit and then I'm going to put I probably won't take very much a little blob right there we're going to do the center part Merry Christmas in red first so I don't forget <laughs> get going on the outside and forget to do it and what you want to do is just you know fairly quickly just push the ink through the holes on the stencil using your squeegee, and then you want to stop. <laughs> Don't keep going over and over and over the same area because that is when you may go outside of the lines or 
you might push too much of the ink through the holes in the stencil and then it won't look good. Okay, I'm just pulling the excess off. Now we're gonna come back and use this ink for the berries on the one that's already ready to go in just a minute. Now we're gonna do the outside of our wreath in black, but you could also do green if you wanted. Um, so I'm just gonna take some globs of black and we're gonna just quickly push this through. You know what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some black right on here. And I'm gonna use a bigger, this is what I, this is called a cut apart squeegee. It comes this size. I'll sometimes cut them in half so that I get this size. And sometimes I'll cut them smaller so you get like this. Um, they're great. They're nice and stiff. They're easy to work with. Um, and this is how you apply your ink and your chalk paste. Unless you're using a paintbrush, which we're gonna use in a few minutes. This is such a quick and easy project and um, I don't know if you're like me but especially during the holidays but pretty much any time of the year when we're invited over to somebody's house I I like to take a little hostess gift and since I like to make stuff I usually take something that I've made and for the month of December this would be a great little thing to make and to give as hostess gifts to anyone who you're over at their house for any reason, um, or just as a little Christmas something, a little gift for a friend or a neighbor, and yourself, for sure. Now I'm just picking up the excess, and I'm gonna put all of this back in here because there's no, no, no point wasting it. And I want to get it off my thumb so I don't get it all over my project. You guys, this is so pretty. Um, I absolutely love this stencil. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And put this underneath here. I'll clean that up in a minute. And I'm going to just sort of loosen all four sides before I pull it up. about so this is a one dollar tub from Dollar Tree it has cool water in it and I just will throw my stencils in with the side that has the ink on it or chuck paste down and I'll let my stencils soak in here until I can go to the kitchen sink and clean them off so I just wanted to show that to you because I know people are curious what what am I talking about when I say that okay so let me show you what we've got so far, isn't that pretty? Now the one that we're gonna work on over here in just a second is, um, it is all black. And I want to get this ink up off of my, my table. Where are my wipes? Before we, I show you the next steps. I don't need five wipes, I just need one. Okay. So, what are you guys up to today? Who has started Christmas shopping? Is anyone? I um I bought I bought one gift so far and that's for my oldest son and he helps me pick it out. We got him a, a new suit. 
not very exciting, but, um, but you know, when you're in your 20s and you're just getting started, it's good to have mom buy you a soup. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna now scooch over and show you what I did before I came live. I did this. Okay, so it is all black, but, and you, I'll hold it up in a minute to show you. Um, but, well, actually, I'm going to hold it up right now. I'm going to show, show you the side that I haven't done yet, though. Can you see how um, the little berries on this wreath are, are open, some of them, and also the leaves? Okay, so I did this black outside like two hours ago and let it completely dry before moving on to the next step because if you start the next step while it's wet then the black will just kind of smear into whatever else you have going on we're going to use this piece that comes with the stencil and it took me a little while to figure out what it is well these are the berries that match the open berries on this pattern so and the second from the top little berry is black and that's how it helps you to find it to figure out where to put it on. Let's start down here. So, and I'm gonna show you how you can do this without washing it in between each time. Okay, so I've got it down so it's 90% in the right spot. And then we're gonna use a little bit of this red ink and we're gonna use a little squeegee and we're gonna be using the smallest little teeny dab of red ink to fill in these berries. And then I'm gonna pull all of the excess up off my stencil. And pick it up and move on to the next one. I'm going to do a couple of these and then I will show you the next step, which is the leaves. And you do want to do your best to just looking, to get this on straight because otherwise your berries won't match up. I think so. All right, so I'm going to take the teeniest, tiniest little bit of red ink, and just push it through the holes, and pull up all of the excess, and oh, I was way off. Oh, well. Oh, my goodness. I was so far off that wasn't even close. Wow. I may come back and fix that one. Um, let's do one more. Okay, am I close? I think so. As long as you get, I mean, every single bit of the ink off of the top that you've just pushed through, and as long as you're not like going super heavy with it, you can take this off and move it around. Okay, that was a little bit better. I'm gonna throw it in the tub of water over here and I'm gonna hold this up and show you what I was talking about. Yeah, the tea towels came from Walmart in the craft department. And um, they're around five or six dollars for two. They're really nice quality. Can you guys see where the red is? And down here, uh, where was it? Let me see. Down here, I was completely wrong, but I'll fix that. That'll be okay. Um, okay, so then if you notice, there's these little leaves and we are going to just paint those in and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And for that matter, you really could 
Also just paint the berries. Um, if you didn't feel like doing the, um, the little stencil pieces. Let me just get these covered up. All right, so now this was called Ruby Red. The black ink is called a black. And now we're gonna use this green, which is called Emerald Green. And they have white lids, they're ink, okay? So I'm using a glass plate. That's the easiest thing to work off of. And I'm just putting a teeny tiny little blob. of green ink on there. And then I'm going to use some distilled water in my little magnolia sprayer just to dilute this a teeny bit. Let's get a stir stick. Okay, good enough. All right. And I have this teeny little paintbrush. And I'm just going to grab, let's see, how can I make this easier for you to see? I'm just grabbing some little bits of the green ink and water on my paintbrush. And I'm basically just tapping it on the top of this leaf and this will be permanent also. This is so easy, oh my gosh. Um, when the whole project is dry, I'll get my iron out, or if you have a heat press, you could use that. And I will just um, heat set it with my iron and a piece of parchment paper in between my iron and this. I'll heat set it for three or four minutes on cotton, no steam just going, you know, around and around with my iron. Super duper duper easy. These little green leaves are so easy to paint in. Yeah, I think this stencil would be beautiful on a wood project, like a sign, you would use chalk paste for that. I think it would be beautiful on a Christmas pillow also. You would use ink for that. Um, I would probably do it very similar to what we're doing right now um, on a an ivory colored pillow. And, um, you, you know, use these colors and then paint in the details just exactly like what I'm doing right now. So I wanna show you some other fun Christmas stencils, so stay with me. I'm just gonna finish the leaves. I think I have just a couple more to go. I have some other things out to show you here. So I won't start decorating for Christmas until right before Thanksgiving, and then it'll be pretty light, you know, and then after Thanksgiving, I'll really go gung-ho on Christmas decorating. But right now, this time that we're in, I love making stuff that I'll be able to pull out. Um, so I'm doing Christmas crafts, but I'm not rushing past all the holidays coming up straight into Christmas. I'm just doing some crafting to prepare for that time. Oh, we're almost done. How about you? When do you start doing your Christmas decorating? Do you wait till after Thanksgiving? So I know some people do it just like the week before Christmas. I think that used to be more of a thing to do it then back, oh, I see one I missed, back when people didn't go as elaborate. And in past years, I've had 
two and three Christmas trees. Um, but I'm going to scale that back a little bit this year and try to not get so caught up in all the Christmas tree stuff because that takes so long to do and so long to put away. Okay, look. Isn't that pretty? So I will finish up the berries. Can you see the little red berries? Can you see the ones that I did a good job on and the ones that I did not do a good job on? Um, I'll come back and finish this up um, off camera. Okay. What I want to show you right now are some of the really fun Christmas. This is just a few that I just pulled out just to show you. Okay, this is an adorable stencil. I'm trying to not get a glare. And it says Mrs. Claus Cafe Hot Cocoa Bar. Have a drink and warm up. Marshmallow and peppermint is that oh since 1755. Super cute. Oh my gosh. And you could just do this. If you just wanted to do this part, it's adorable. Okay, this is also a really cute stencil, and I did some fun things with it last year. We made some stuffies that we turned into ornaments. I used ink, and then I used some glitter on them. And they were super cute. And I just did all of these in black with silver glitter around the edge. But this is cute all together and make a great t-shirt. It says joy, peace, and love. You can um, do the individual stuffies. Um, it could go on a pillow, super cute. And I've seen this done with non-traditional colors like pink, that funky magnolia green, which is like this color and like a teal, and it's adorable that way too. Okay, this, uh, there's tons of snowflake stuff this year. They must be very in as far as decorating goes, and this says snowflakes are kisses from heaven. Super cute, and then we've used the snowflakes, the actual snowflake stencils a few times. This is a brand new one that says, baby, it's cold outside. Look how adorable these mittens are. Let me take this one out. Look how adorable those mittens are. And it's got a bunch of great little um, detailed snowflakes on it. So, like always, you could do the whole entire thing. You could just use those little mittens. You could just use the snowflakes. You can use it all together, whatever you like. Super cute. And um, this one's new also. Let me pull this one out too. The glare makes it so hard to see. This one is called, um, I can't remember what this is called, I'm sorry. But there's this adorable season's greeting, little reindeer, and then this polar bear, and it says, let it snow. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Come back to this one. And then here's another snowing kind of a stencil. This is a snowman. I made a pillow for my um, son and daughter-in-law's couch last year using this and she loved it. We did um, everything in black except for the little scarf and the top hat, we did those in red. Super cute. And then on the other side, well, this is a stencil obviously that I used a lot last year. It says sleigh rides. It's an old fashioned sleigh. And it also has a bunch, it has these great bells on it, and it has a bunch of um, great little snowflakes. And it says, warm blankets and hot cocoa. Cute. Um, okay, those are all the snowflake ones that I wanted to show you. This is a new one I just got. Love the font on this. Same thing as what I keep saying. You could do just these beautiful poinsettias. You could do the whole entire thing. You could just um, just do Merry and Bright. That's really cute. Um, this is one from last year, which I got last year, and honestly, I don't know why I didn't use it. I forgot, or it just, you know, I had a lot of choices. <laughs> it just got missed, but I will definitely use it this year. And I love the realistic look of these chickens. It's not like a cartoonish, they're very realistic. And it says three French hens. 
And then it's got this gorgeous wreath, which would be super fun to do in black and then color it in, paint it in like what we're doing here. And then this is the Christmas Advent Calendar Stencil. I used this about a month ago. This is adorable. Mrs. Claus Bake Shop, established 1886 cookies, hot cocoa, and fudge. And it's got these adorable like candy cane looking things. Um, and the heart is like a candy cane kind of thing. Super cute. And then last but not least, I just wanted to show you this one again. Because it's, I mean, this is like one of my all-time favorites. I used the one I had last year so much. And I've already used that same one a few times that I decided to just go ahead and get a new one. This guy sold out really quick last year. A lot of these did, as a matter of fact, because uh, Christmas is a super popular time to do crafting for your decor, to make um, Christmas gifts, to make Christmas decor for your friends and family, hostess gifts, that kind of thing. So anyways, that is what I wanted to show you. I'm going to finish this up. I will also get some links for you. I'll get you a direct link to this stencil and also a um, direct link to the ink as soon as I get off. So if you want to go take a peek, that'll be easy for you. Otherwise, and I'm going to read all your comments because I've been so concentrated on these little spaces that I haven't seen everything that you guys have said, but I do appreciate you talking to me as I'm going along and your thoughts and so forth. Um, so, all right, I'll see you guys later today. Have a great day.